standing at the cathedral group turnout, look toward the Teton Range and you may notice an odd shadow low on the slope. This shadow is cast by the steep slope or scarp formed by the Teton Fault. A scarp is a steep transition between two land surfaces and may form by water cutting into the Earth's surface or an earthquake breaking the Earth's surface. Earthquakes form this particular scarp by breaking through sediments deposited during the last ice age. The fault started moving roughly 10 million years ago and continues to this day. Regional stretching periodically builds up on the Teton Fault until the fault reaches its breaking point. As the ground breaks, two crustal blocks slip past one another, generating an earthquake and shaking the ground. The mountain block swings skyward as the valley block hinges downward, building this rugged landscape one step at a time. The vertical displacement on this fault above String Lake is about 100 feet, generated by earthquakes during the last 14,000 years. Geoscientists estimate the Teton Fault may produce earthquakes up to a magnitude 7.5 that would each break the ground by about 10 feet. The scarp you are viewing probably reflects more than half a dozen major earthquakes or one event every 2,000 years. Research shows that the last major earthquake occurred nearly 5,000 years ago, more than twice as long as geoscientists think earthquakes have happened in the past. Imagine what will happen if an earthquake occurred now. How would the landscape change? When will the next one happen? Only time will tell. But for now, we can enjoy the rugged scenery generated by these very powerful forces. As Ansel Adams said in 1950, the grand lift of the Tetons is more than a mechanistic fold and faulting of the Earth's crust. It becomes a primal gesture of the Earth beneath a greater sky. Mm -hmm.